what we have here is a head-to-head matchup. Wendy's Chili versus Pot Belly Chili. Pot Belly Sandwich Chili, Wendy's Chili. Got the hot chili seasoning on the side for the window. Now this is the largest container that you can get from Wendy's. Comes in at three dollars seventy-two cents. Let's put that here. And get crackers with it. And I also requested to get sweet onion in it. And then we have a hot belly, hot belly sandwich shop. The chili from there. Now this is the largest chili that I can get. Comes in at five dollars and forty nine cents. And of course, it comes with the oyster crackers, as expected. And I also requested to get onion in it. But it doesn't come with any type of hot chili seasoning. You can't you can't request that at all. So there we go. Hot chili. There you have it. Put this on the side. I was hoping they would chop up the onions, but they're just putting these whole onion pieces in. The Wendy's and there's a pot belly head to head pot belly versus Wendy's looks good smells good we'll, we'll, we'll see we we'll see we'll see how it goes All right, what we're going to do is taste the Wendy's first. Now, I've had Wendy's chili before. Some say it could be a little bit soupy. Not much meat. It's a little bit thicker, maybe because of the onions. But let me go in for the taste. Definitely taste the, I guess the tomato ness of it. Hints of meat. You can taste the peppers and onions, or what have you. Let me get some of the beans in this. But it's a solid chili, not spicy. I would have to add the hot chili seasoning into it. Now some say it might have a small kick. I don't know, but I always add the hot chili seasoning to it. But it's definitely tasty. Now let's try the pot belly. Comes in a little bit dark color. There is a premium, and these prices are based on Uber Eats, so it could be cheaper, but there's still going to be a price gap. Now, this seems to be off the bat a little bit more meatier, just in appearance, even though the meat tends to be, looks to be ground beef, it looks to be chopped up just as fine. Let's see. 
Oh yeah. It has a heartier taste. We can taste that meat and that chili. Okay. Well seasoned. You don't get that tomato sauce, tomato paste, whatever it is, soup kind of feel to it. You see the kidney beans. Okay, very tasty. Very tasty. Not not spicy at all. I don't know if there's an option to add any kind of hot sauce to it, but it's just regular good chili. No problem there. I'm gonna take a another bite sip. Of the Wawa. I mean, not the Wawa, I mean Wendy's. Huh, <laughs> show you where my mind's at. Got that iron up in it. Let me break that apart. Wendy's is good. Definitely edible, I get it. And it, and it, and it, can, and it can get thicker once you add in crackers. It's just not much meat, so that's why it's probably cheaper than the pot belly. The pot belly just outright tasty. Mm, mm, mm. Pot belly tastes better than Wendy's. Wendy's isn't bad, and Wendy's is something that I'll get. And I assume with this extra meat in the pot belly, I'm sure it's going to be more calories. I don't have the metrics by me. But I'm gonna see there's more calories. Let me add the hot chili seasoning into the Wendy's. I'm gonna add a couple of packs. And then I'll add the crackers. Now I don't have any hot sauce for the pot belly, so we're just gonna do without. And let me add a couple of packs of crackers. Thicken it up a little bit. And let me add the oyster crackers. Into the pot belly. I like these oyster crackers the way it looks. <laughs> Don't have to break anything up, just add it right it right in there. Alright, let's 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 go in on this Wendy's. The hot sauce, the hot chili seasoning, definitely kicks it up a notch. Gives you that, that, that heat to it, which I like. And the crackers makes it a little bit thicker and takes away from that tomato saucy taste that you can get at Wendy's, well, you can get with the Wendy's chili. So yeah, added crackers and hot seasoning to it definitely enhances it. Now, back to the pot belly with these oyster crackers. We just add some thickness to it. Doesn't detract from the taste. But yeah. And, and these oyster crackers are good. I like them better than the saltines at Wendy's. And so overall, better taste at pot belly. Just a different flavor profile and a meteor chili. Now you are paying a premium for it. Almost an extra couple dollars. But I mean if you're already getting some of a pot belly, you may as well get the chili. And like if you already have Wendy's, you may as well get their chili. Strictly hit this hit speaking in terms of taste, it's pot belly. In terms of value, well it's definitely gonna be Wendy's. And maybe you can doctor it up a little bit. But this head to head, I'm gonna go strictly about taste. And you say why why not factor in price, but it's, it's two different places. Pot belly sandwich shop, 
Wendy's. It, it serves two different types of food. So this is just, a, just about a taste. Taste pot belly. It, it, it's just a better chili, better seasoned, more more meat. Even the oyster crackers taste better. Doesn't mean Wendy's is bad in any way, shape, or form. And I, and I like Wendy's. And I'll get it anytime I'm there. But you just have to know what you're getting into. And food doesn't live in a bubble. So yeah, there is a better option to win this chili. It's that pot belly.